What's happening my brothers and sisters in Christ? Hope that you're all doing well. There is a forgotten weapon that will destroy panic attacks. There is a forgotten weapon that will destroy depression. There is a forgotten weapon that will destroy anxiety. Hallelujah. It is praise. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. You know guys, praising God is one of the most, I don't know if this is the right word, but underrated or least popular or for some people it's like a chore. But I want to say my brother, I want to say my sister, hallelujah, that if you choose to praise the Lord, then you are drawing close to God. And when you draw close to him, the king of the universe, the God who has no rivals, the God who is love and is a consuming fire at the same time, who is Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, the Alpha and the Omega, the God of hosts, which is the God of armies. When you draw close to him, my brother, when you draw close to him, my sister, you come into the presence of royalty. You come into the presence of, of something so supernaturally majestic. You come into the Shekinah glory, the peace of God. The kabod of God comes on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, guys, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When you praise God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, then you touch the face of God. You know, if you want to touch the face of God, even though you have pain in your body, if you want to touch the face of God, even though you have so much anxiety that you feel like you're going to die, even if you have depression, you feel like you're in a hole, you feel like you're stuck, but you want to touch the face of God, or you're having panic attacks, whatever it is, Whatever situation it is, you know, guys, and you want to touch the face of God, you know, you want to come into that presence of God, because where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. There is liberty from all of that. If you would go and praise God, you know, guys, a practical way that I do that, I'll go on a drive with my wife and we put on some praise and worship songs. And we will sing our hearts out to the Lord. We will praise Him. You know, guys, until you know, until you break through into His tangible presence, until you touch His face and He touches your face, hallelujah. Woo! <laughs> praise the Lord. You know, guys. And if someone's watching this video and they've never experienced the Holy Ghost, you know, guys, or the presence of God, they'll think that, you know, like, they'll say, oh, Ben, you're crazy, or you've been smoking crack or something. They'll say something like that. But for those who have tasted and seen that God is good, you know exactly what I'm saying. You know, guys, because I can testify. Today was a really hard day for me. You know, guys, pain, devil attacking me. But you know what? I was asking God to help me. And he guided me to seek his face and to praise him with all the strength and with all the breath in my chest. And I can tell you what, my brother, I can tell you what, my sister, that you will come into his presence. Hallelujah. When you praise him, when you sing to him diligently. And, you know, guys, it's better than getting drunk. It's better than, you know, winning the lottery. It's better than smoking cigarettes, it's better than any of the pleasures of the flesh of this world. My brother, my sister in Christ, it's better. You know, guys, you name whatever this world has to offer, it doesn't even scratch the surface of the presence of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's a big statement, but he's a big God. You know, guys, what do you think was behind the veil in the temple or what was in the Ark of the Covenant? Do you think it was some religious 
um, you know, um, book? Or was it the tangible, living, powerful presence of God? You know, guys, the only reason that we can have the Holy Spirit inside of us is because we are washed by the blood of the Lamb. We're forgiven. Hallelujah. If we were not forgiven, that Spirit would kill us, I believe. Just as if you touched the Ark of the Covenant, or if you went behind the veil, behind the holies of holies, and you weren't covered in some kind of blood and done the ritual, you would die. But now we are blood washed believers, hallelujah, and we can come into the tangible presence of God and not die. Oh, you know, guys, praise the Lord. I just want to take a moment and pray for whoever's watching this, hallelujah. You know, guys, if you. You know, if anyone is experiencing depression, anxiety, panic attacks, or pain in their body, right now, in the name of Jesus, Yamba Ruku in Jesus' name, depression go. In Jesus' name, pain, leave that body. In Jesus' name, fear go. God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. In Jesus' name, depression lift off that person. In Jesus' name. You know, guys, we serve an amazing God. We serve an amazing God. And if you're in that hole, ask God for help. If you're in that hole, start praying, start seeking God. I know my brother, I know my sister, the flesh is, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. I know my brother, I know my sister in Christ, but I'm telling you, if you push through and seek God's face, then he will breathe on you. Hallelujah. And that whatever was bothering you before will not bother you. Instead of being depressed, you will be uplifted and have peace and joy. All the fruits of the Holy Spirit overflowing. Instead of, you know, having fear, you'll have peace. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister in Christ, I want to encourage you to seek the Lord while you're experiencing whatever you're going through. Because I can testify by the blood of the Lamb and the word of this testimony that God is good. And if you seek Him, you'll find Him. And especially if you're going through it. Like I was saying, if you're depressed, if you're broken, if you've got pain in your body, you've got the spirit of fear attacking you, etc., Go and seek the Lord, you know, guys. Because where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. And when you seek Him diligently, you're going to come into His presence, you know, guys. And there's no better place to be. So, my brother, my sister in Christ, I just want to point you to Jesus Christ today, you know, guys. What is it? that you are facing? What is it that you're going through, my brother? What is it that you're going through, my sister? Because I just want to tell you right now that if you would turn to the Lord and start seeking Him, that you're going to come into the presence of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, guys, I know some of you are in depression. Some of you are in chronic pain. Some of you are just, you know, stuck in cycles. But I want to say the blood of Jesus and the presence of God can break all that. You know, guys, hallelujah. Go and seek the Lord today. You know, guys, taste and see that God is good. Draw close to him and God will draw close to you. Hallelujah. Thanks for watching, guys. And leave a prayer request if you need prayer. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.